grow old and die. Ooh. This is a map of the area. We're here. The tea plants got washed into the river here. The current would have taken them down the river. The furthest point the plants could have reached is here. Sector X. Hilda, you and Barnabas take the Hummer. Search Sector X. Mm -hmm. I'll take Matchbox and Ooh. search here. Sector A. Let me look with Matchbox. He likes me. He likes you, but he fears me. He'll do a better job. If you don't sniff us out some tea, you're in big trouble. Whoa! Whoa! Matchbox! You dumb dog! Stop! Slow down! Oh, idiot! This isn't a game! We need tea! Huh? A plant! I found a tea plant right here on the farm! Wait until I tell Hilda and Barnabas! Hang on a minute. What should I tell them? I'm the smartest. I'm the best looking. I should have my own personal tea supply. I deserve it. And when Hilda and Barnabas run out, I can still stay young. This is our secret. My! What? Defect, I can't believe it. What are you doing here? Whatever turns up. Been here five minutes, and who do I run into? Sprocky. You were just a weed last oh, time I saw go. you. <laughs> Boy! You must be doing all right. Yeah, not bad. I can see that. Look at you, bringing home the groceries. You living here, are you? Sort of. I'm looking for my family. Any luck? Nah. That sucks. Yeah. You're looking good, but must be pretty well set up. Uh, so, mate, I'm just off the bus. I've got nowhere to stay. Can you help us out? Your name's what? Defect. I'll spell it for you. D-F-C-T-E. <laughs> D-E-F-E-C-T. Well, if I got it right, I wouldn't be defect, eh? <laughs> oh, jeez, I crack myself up sometimes. The Sprocky will tell you. Him and me go back. Tell him, Sprocky. Yeah, we used to hang out. Taught him everything he knows. Hmm. So, Amy, oh, nice place. Your olds must be worth a bit, eh? Where are they? They're out. At work. Yeah? Well, Sprocky said I could stay a few days. <laughs> I'm sorry? Hey, cool TV. Check it out. Wait, talk now. How long did you hang out together? A few weeks. We looked after each other till I got fostered out. Why is he here? I don't know. Ask him. But you told him he could stay. Look, what is this? The guy needs a place to crash. It's just a few days. Don't be like that. What's the problem? No trust. Defect's my mate. I'm telling you, he's all right. Or don't you trust me either? You know we do, but how well do you really know him? Better than I know you. Well, I didn't like how he was checking the place out. And I didn't like him asking how much we were worth. Oh, what? You think he's going to rip you off? I don't know, but I've got a two-year-old mother to look after and I'm not taking a chance. He can't stay here. I promised. It's not your house to promise, Sprocket. Yes. But I thought a mate's our house. It's not your house, Sprocket. It's ours. It's your house, but he's my mate. And I'm not letting him down. Nothing. We turned the whole area upside down. Not a single plant. We failed, Orson. There, there, Barnabas. Have some hot chocolate. Hmm? You made us hot chocolate? Of course. You two are the closest to me in the world. I almost think of you as family. We are family. How could 
could I forget? If I found a tea plant, I'd gladly share it with you. Dad would be proud of you, Orson. You're a good man. I do try. Did Defect say where he was going? No. <laughs> what, your best mate didn't tell you? What do you care? We're supposed to be looking for tea plants tomorrow. It's going to be really boring if you sulk all day. Sorry! Honestly, Mum, you're two years old. Can't you use a knife and fork? <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. I'll get you some more. I'll cut you some more. Let's make it easier. It'll be quicker if I feed you. I'm going out. But where? Hmm? Sprocket? Where are you going? I brought you some food. Thanks, mate. They don't know I'm here. Nah. But Amy's got you on a short leash, eh? Short and tight. She's all right. Oh, mate, she's rich. You know how the rich get rich? By making folks like us poor. We have to use our smarts to get by. The thing is, when you use your smarts, someone calls the cops. Are you on the run? You know better than to ask me that. It's a full moon tonight. I go wild on a full moon. Oh! Keep it down. Anything could happen. Remember? Yeah, I remember. with three of us. Maybe, but I don't want to hang around with a couple of girls. So when are you going to help us? Dunno. You dunno. <sighs> What's up your nose all of a sudden? Nothing. <sighs> Suit yourself. You can clean up while we're gone. <clears throat> Mate! <laughs> well, they'll sit in the car. homeless. They'll rub it in their faces. And there'll be I'll carnage. Physical <laughs> carnage. <laughs> about what I said last night? Yeah, but I came here to find my family. How am I going to do that back on the street? Mate, you need a reminder of what freedom's all about. Let's go for a ride. It's Amy's mum's. We can't take it. Oh, get real, Sprocky. 
You know you want to. But we don't have the keys. Who needs keys? It's simple. Everyone's got a good side and a bad side. You're good, Orson, and I'm bad, Orson. How? Gamma radiation from the full moon. We ate the leaf from an irradiated plant. It caused a split. There can't be two of us. We have to get back in the same body. Why would we want to do that? It's not natural. It's not the way things should be. We need to make things normal again. I've got a better idea. Let's team up. Join me. What? Be bad? Me? It's easy. I'll train you. It won't take long. You could be worse than bad. You could be evil. We could be two evil brats working together. There'd be no stopping us. No, I'm going to feed the homeless. I'm not going to be bad. Loser! Have fun! I'm going to. Woohoo! How's it feel, Sprocky? It's OK. OK? Mate, it's more than OK. Yeah, it's cool. Come on, you can do better than that. Mate. I can't hear you. Mate! Mate! Look at that kid. <laughs> the pot's bigger than he is. That's Pooper. <laughs> is he called Pooper? Yeah, Pooper Scooper. <laughs> oh, classic. Let's give him a rev up. You said we'd dump acid in a skin cream. You said we'd give up the tea and feed the homeless. What's going on, brother? Explain. I'll explain, Hilda. In the cool room, there's something I have to show you. What are you doing? Sprockhead! What a surprise! He asked you a question. Pooper. I've made some soup for the poor. Do you want some? I know you. It'll be poison. You're trying to poison the town. No, I'm good. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lick it up. Go no. On. <laughs> Catch you later, Pooper. <laughs> Brother, sister, after you. Whatever this is, it'd better be good. I think you'll be surprised. I love surprises. What? Ah! Ah! Gotcha! What are you doing? Let us out! I'll let you out tomorrow! Without tea, we won't last until tomorrow! Think of it as an experiment. In what? In how long it takes before you grow old and disintegrate! Orson, you can't do this. Give us our tea now! It's not your tea, it's mine! And you're not getting any! I'm telling you the car's been moved. And I'm telling you it hasn't. It's huh, definitely that's it, Sprocky. Go, son. You're just dirty because you didn't find any plants. At least we looked. And I asked you to clean up. You haven't done anything. What did you do all day? I had fun. What sort of fun? Just fun? We're friends. No secrets, remember? That's no right, Sprocky. Secrets. No secrets yeah, from know, little lamey Amy. <laughs> oh, son! Let me out! Oh, son! Hilda! Let me comfort you. Get away from me, you dipstick! I just want to... I said get away! Ow! You hit me! Yeah, it comforts me. Defect, what are you doing? I'm gonna knock over a few shops in town. You stay here and start on this place. What do you mean, start on this place? Well, I don't know where Amy's olds are, but they ain't here. All you gotta do is tie her up. Tie her up? Amy's been good to me. I'm not going to steal from her. Well, you're with her or you're with me. With her, you got nothing. You and me, we're brothers, mate. Easy choice, eh? Guess. Catch you later, bro. A brick. Oi! <laughs> Are you knocking over that shop? Who wants to know, boxhead? Get us an MP3? Open the boot. We'll get more than an MP3. <laughs> you wanted an MP3? We took it. DVD, took it. Guitar, keys, took them. We can have anything we want. All we've got to do is take it. You're pretty cool for a little kid. I'm older than I look. Yeah? How old are you? I just turned 83. <laughs> Excellent, mate. Oh, you're so full of it. 83. I didn't get a birthday cake. How about it, Defect? You up for some cake? Always, mate. As you say, all we gotta do is take it. Ah! What are you doing? 
Oh, Amy. Oh, I was just uh, packing up. You've got all our stuff. Oh, I, uh, I was going to put it in the laundry. Why? Uh, to hide it. It's on Defect. Defect's gone, isn't he? We're oh. back! Defect and Pooper? Look at all that stuff piled up and ready to go. What's Pooper doing here? Do you two know each other? Pooper's got ideas. Big ideas. We're going on the road and Sprocky's coming with us. Huh? That's not what it sounds like. That, that's what Sprocket I told you. Sprocket isn't going anywhere. He's finished with you. Sprocky's been hiding me in your garage. He brought me what? food and we took your car. <laughs> right, Sprocky? Sprocket, is that true? Yeah, but how could you do this to us? How could you? We trusted you. We trusted you. Pick up that stuff. We're loading up and heading out the poopers. What if I said I'm not going? You can't dog it now. Poopers got a hummer. You ever driven a hummer? It's unreal. Ah! Do you want defects to hurt somebody? Because he will. Oh, pick up that stuff and keep your mouth shut. Give her back. There you go. Out of my word. She's horrible. I'm glad I'm not related to her. Shut up! See what I mean? That's all our stuff. You piled up everything. On you, Sprocky. Now, let's go. You're not going anywhere. There's two of them. What? This town is weird. What are you doing here? I knew you'd be here. I know you better than you know yourself. So I took some precautions. There were robberies in town tonight. I told the police it was my twin brother. I said he'd eaten a plant that made him crazy. I sent them out to the farm. They're gonna dig up that tea plant. You think you've won? You haven't won? I'll get there first and save the tea. Then I'll crush you like a... The keys! He's got the keys! Stop him! Defect! Help me open the door! Open it! Oh. I can't. He's locked himself in and he's got the key. I've got to get to the farm before the cops. Come on, to the hammer. <laughs> you might as well go with them. No. Well, I don't want you here. You betrayed me. That's the worst thing anyone's ever done. What about your dad walking out? OK, the second worst, but it's still pretty bad. We'll take your car. We can get to the farm before them. Will you help me? Was that true about the police digging up the plant? No, it was a lie. It took a great effort, but it was necessary to get rid of a greater evil in the form of my twin self and his hoodlum accomplice. Just back up a minute. What's going on? Why are there two of you? We found a mutant tea plant. It split us in two, good and bad. If I eat the plant, it should put us back in the same body. Will you help me, please? You're my... our only chance. Oh, this is all just too weird. Please help me. Well, I don't trust you. I don't even trust Sprocket anymore. I don't blame you. Nice one, Sprocket. You've done it again. Why should I help you? My bad half has an unlimited capacity for evil. I can't let him stay loose in the world. Help me. I need your car. I'm begging you. You'll get us all killed. You're driving deadly. Birthday. Thank you. I wish they'd given me a cake. Forget about your birthday. That poop is going to beat us to the tea plant. Not if I can help it. Hang on, everybody. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> oh, you, on the pedals. Yeah, flatten it. Wrong <laughs> We're almost there. I must get that plant before my evil half. Can I count on you? Yeah, don't bet on it. He'll probably let you down just like he did me. Kill the lights. This way, quick! Oh no! He's put barbed wire all around the tea plant. What do we do? I can get through there. Give me the pocket knife. No way! It has snips on it, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll need it to cut through the wire around the cage. Give me the knife. Amy, I need it. Uh, we need it. Okay. Thanks. Plant, Sprocky. Now! Get out of my way! Make me. 
You're a loser, mate. Always have been. You said we were brothers. Now I'm a loser. You're a fake defect and you're a bully. You're the biggest loser of all. <laughs> Take it! <laughs> Here, yeah, I'm sorry. You think defects are fake? It takes one to know one. He's waking up. Come on, Mum, let's get out of here. Oh, my head. What happened? Son, you're in deep, deep trouble. Hilda! Barnabas, where are you? Hilda! Barnabas! Oh! Oh, son, let us out! Let us out! Please! We don't have much time! How did you get in there? You looked us in! Now, get us tea! Hilda, you look terrible old! Tea! And I'm gonna kick your bum. I'll kick it so hard that pimples will burst. Get us tea off and uh -huh. now! Don't snarl like that, Hilda. The wind might change. Now! What's the magic word? Ah! All right, I'll get your tea. Keep your dentures in. Shut up. But I didn't say anything. Yes, Sergeant. Thank you very much. I'll let my parents know. The police caught defect. What did he say? He started to say what happened, but Sergeant Fowler thought he was making it up. They said they'd drop the car around later. So what about our... your stuff? You mean the stuff that you helped defect steal? They've got that as well. I didn't help him. We caught you. You were piling it up for him right there where you're standing. I wasn't piling it up. I told you I was going to hide it. I don't believe you. I don't know that I can believe you ever again. How can I? You lied to my face about the car. I know I was wrong. I'm sorry. I had to pretend to go along with him, otherwise he would have just taken everything. I don't know what to do about you. Half of me says, chuck him out, and the other half says, give him another chance. What do you think? Mm. Buckets, Dave. Why? Help us. Well, don't just stand there, say something. I know I'll let you down. I won't let you down again. And I won't lie to you again, I promise. I just want to find my family. I can't do that alone. I need help. Well, I've got to get Mum back to normal. And find Dad. I need help too. All right, you can stay. But you're in the garage for a week. And we're not friends either. We've got to start all over again. I oh, know. I'm really sorry. You hungry? Yeah. Me too. Let's have breakfast. Yeah!